What's up, YouTube? I'm Toph. I'm a melee guy. But more recently, I'm a Nick All Stars guy. I've been grinding this game. I actually had it a little bit early. Shout outs to Red Bull Esports for that. There's actually a lot of tech that I think people are starting to discover, but not a lot of people, not everyone is using right now. And there's some pretty important implications for a lot of people that we've discovered pretty early on. I think this is stuff that is going to last. This is going to be, you know, nothing like the Sandy Infinite, the Michelangelo stalling above the stage with in his shell or whatever. It's very practical stuff that's very core to the game engine that you're gonna need to know. So I'm gonna teach you this stuff first, and without further ado, let's let's get to it. There is a mechanic in this game. I believe Hitfall is what it's called in Rivals of Ether, which is where this mechanic originated. It's a little bit of a misnomer in this game because you do not actually need to hit your opponent to actually use uh, this technique. The way Hitfall works in Rivals of Ether is when you are in hit lag, which is exactly the, like, when you, you know when you hit the opponent and your character kind of freezes in place for a second, it's like, boom, to give the, the attack some punch. During that little short window of time, if you input a fast fall in that game, the game actually lets you fast fall. So you can be doing fast falls on the way up. You could fast fall immediately as soon as you leave the ground. Now, in this game, you can't do that with a fast fall, but you can do it with an air dash, a downwards or diagonally downwards air dash. And you can cancel any aerial move like this. So, you know, normally if I'm doing up air, uh, oops, sorry, uh, 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 that's how fast I can do them, right? This is something I actually, I gotta shout out Void for this because I actually kind of discovered this from watching Void's stream. Void is already using this a lot with Aang. But I can literally, as I hit him, I can input a downwards air dash. But what's interesting about Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is you don't even have to hit your opponent. You can actually do it on whiff, which is why I don't think this technique should even really be called hitfall per se in this game because you don't need to hit them. So watch this. See that? You can see those, you see those downward little directional lines, and these are the, the diagonal sideways. So you see those little anime speed lines when anime characters go fast, right? Uh, so you can do, and these are, this is with uh, diagonal downward air dodges. So I'm doing the up air right now. You could do it with down air. And you could even do it pretty late into the move. And there's some really cool, even if you knew about this technique, even if you knew about Hitfall in this game, there's some really cool applications that not a lot of people are thinking about yet that I'm gonna explain in a second. You don't have to do it at the start of the move. You can actually delay it pretty late. And you can do it with strong arrows too, so watch this. See that? So I'm doing the move. And I'm waiting a pretty significant amount of time, and then I'm air dashing down. First of all, there are there, there are obviously like kind of offensive applications, right? Because if if Danny Phantom is above me, this is something you'll see Void do a lot, for example. You know, he'll go like this and kind of juggle him this way, right? Without having to worry about you're basically able to do this a lot faster. It's gonna mix up your opponent's tech timing, right? But also, you can it can be used defensively, right? It can be used defensively. So check this out. Everyone's been there, you know, this game doesn't have air dodge. We're smash players, we're used to having having air dodge, but in this game, it's just an air dash, right? And you're getting kind of juggled by your opponent and you're up in the air and maybe they've even taken your double jump. They've hit you out of your double jump and you're trying to come down, but they're sharking you with like big up airs or what have you, right? Or maybe Nigel Thornberry, you know, a lot of uh, players will go for something like trying to hit your landing with an up smash or even an aerial, uh, uh, sorry, an up strong or even an aerial upstream. Like you'll see a lot of characters going for something like this, like SpongeBob, Danny Phantom is a character that will go for that kind of option. They'll go up there and they'll try to catch you with an upstrong to kind of just kill you off the top at really low percents. So what you can actually do, you can actually, with a lot of characters, and I was getting a lot of mileage off this earlier, you can use, remember this game has a rock, paper, scissors for which smash tags actually beat which smash tags. And so if you think your opponent is gonna go for an up strong in the air to KO you off the top, you can actually do a strong nair and hit fall it. And if the opponent actually goes for a strong nair to uh, kind of prevent you from landing, you will actually just put them into a stagger state with a strong nair because strong nair beats strong up air. And this is, uh, this is, I think really, really good, especially if your opponent has shown, because a lot of time, you know, you'll be at a percent like 80 or 90, where if they don't go for a strong up air, then nothing's actually gonna KO you up there, right? It's kind of the main move that they'd be looking for there. And so you can kind of use this technique to kind of try to push your way past your opponent. And even if they go for like a, you know, a light up air or something, it's not the end of the world. It's just one up air. You're gonna be able to play the mix up one more time, but it's gonna let you survive for a lot longer. I think it's really, really good. There's other cool things you can do with this, 
by the way. I just want to show this off. Something that I found was interesting is that some characters can actually hit fall their specials. Toph is one of them. Notably, for example, Michelangelo is not. I was playing with a truck earlier who was playing Michelangelo. He could not hit fall the Michelangelo pizza toss. It did not work. But with Toph, see that? So I'll actually go up here sometimes and I'll go like that. And I'll kind of, you see how I can use that to almost approach? I'll go... Right? And I'll kind of use the rock as an approach option, which is pretty cool stuff because otherwise I'd be doing, I'd be jumping up to get it and I'm kind of too slow to reach the ground to like do anything really threatening. But with this, I can, you know, make the strong rock and pitfall it and immediately be on the ground and be fighting. But my opponent's worried about this huge boulder over their heads, which is, I think, pretty, pretty good, right? And I can also do it with the light rock, the level one rock, so, right? Which might be, you know, it's not, I don't think it's as cool because the thing about the boulder, of course, is if you throw it at ground level, it bounces very low. But if you throw it very high up, it's like a bouncy ball. It bounces really high. So you often do want to go really high up to get that big bounce to cover a lot of ground so that the opponent can't just jump over it or go on the platform. That's why I think it's it's really useful, actually, with Toph off her special boulder throw. But again, not every character can do this off their B moves. So you're going to want to kind of experiment with whatever your character is and figure out what uh, if, if this works with your character. Let me talk about how you can actually use this defensively when you're recovering. I got to shout out Kony on this one because he was the first person yelling at everybody to do this. I mean, I'm even down to call this the Kony, even though what it really reminds me of is... It's like a, it's like the way people used to survive hits in Brawl with what was called, they called it hit stun canceling, which is you could air dodge out of your hit stun in Brawl. Well, that's not exactly how it works in this game because you are out of hit stun at this point. But when you get sent towards the blast zone, let's say he's at a, you know, he's, I don't know, I'll put him at like a high percent. This would, this could, this is going to kill him, right? So the way it works a lot of the time is you don't outright die off the side. Like you're not actually in hit stun as you approach the blast zone. Your character has all this momentum. So like as, as Danny Phantom here, as he reaches the blast zone, like he's probably not in hit stun anymore. Right? Like, you can't see him over there, obviously, but he would have stopped flashing red. He's no longer in his side. And what's important about that is normally he would, he could still get KO'd, right? Like, let's say I have his percent's a little bit higher, like here. So this is a perfect example here. He probably was not in hit stun when he hit the blast zone, okay? He's not still in hit stun, but he's got, as he gets out of hit stun near the edge of the blast zone or near the edge of the stage where he would get KO'd, he still has sideways momentum. And he's like, ah, you know, I'm out of hit stun, but there's nothing I can actually do to save myself. I'm, I'm going to fly. I'm going to keep flying no matter what I do and actually... I'm, I'm gonna get KO'd. I'm gonna touch the blast and I'm gonna die. Well, there is something you do. Air dashing in this game cancels out all of your momentum. So if you're flying towards the blast zone at a really fast speed, you actually, if you can get an air dash out, you will, it will, it will completely erase all the momentum you have flying towards the ledge. And you can actually uh, simply recover doing this. And I'm kind of simulating here, obviously, with Toph because, you know, I, I, this game doesn't have like a recording feature in training, but you're in, you're near the blast zone and you can go like that. So what I'm doing is I'm double jumping and I'm air dashing back. And even if I was an inch away from the blast zone from the move that they hit me out off stage with, if I input this jump and then air dash back towards the stage, uh, the air dash is going to completely cancel that momentum and I'm going to survive. But what's the downside here? The downside is in order to air dash in the state where you've just gotten hit, well, you can't be in tumble. Now, what do I mean by that? When you get hit with a strong move, you get sent in a tumble. And the cool thing about Nick All-Stars Brawl is I can demonstrate this by simply taunting in the air. If you taunt in the air, some of you guys might know this is a little bit of an Easter egg, you go into tumble and you'll notice there's a little squeaky noise and Toph actually just starts hurtling towards her doom. And now I'm going to go into tumble and try to air dash. Nothing. Maybe you can hear my controller, but nothing. No air dash. But if I'm in tumble and I have my double jump, see that? If you have your double jump, you can double jump out of tumble and survive that way. So you might be wondering, all right, well, that's cool and all, but I don't always have my double jump. If I'm getting edge guarded, for example, I might have already used my double jump. If I was getting uh, like sharked by the opponent, they were trying to catch my landing and they caught my landing after I used my double jump. I might not have my double jump in the air anymore. Well, what can I do? Can I wiggle out of tumble? That's actually something that Kony suggested in like uh, like his one of his early streams, but you actually cannot wiggle out of tumble in this game. It's not melee. Melee, if you like in melee, if you're in tumble in the air and you just mash it. but you don't even have to mash you can even time it if you just input a sideways direction in the air in melee you escape tumble and your character just kind of returns to just fall into the ground normal nick all stars brawl does not have that in this game that's not how it works you cannot wiggle out of tumble but what you can do is you can use a move to get out of tumble so as you can see there i i, I was in tumble 
but I pressed the A button with Toph, and she did a neutral air. I could do, you could do any air. What does that mean? Remember what I just taught you guys at the beginning of the video. This is where hit falling comes in. If you can get an aerial out, you can get a hitbox, or you can get a downwards air dash out. So if I am towards the blast zone, what does this mean? I don't know, even if, pretend I don't have my double jump out here, I can air dodge, or I can air dash by simply inputting an aerial. Now there's a limitation, of course, which if you remember from when I was explaining hit falling, you can only air dash out of an aerial downwards or diagonally downwards in either either forward or back. So this angle, this angle, or this angle. But often that's good enough because you get hit, imagine you get hit by a strong move, right? I, I send Danny Phantom out, you know, like uh, if I send him out like out there, I've sent him so, I've sent him very far to the side, yes, but I've also sent him so high up, he's totally okay with getting any air dash out, even if it's downward, right? Because you can just, you know, again, if I'm out here, I just do A and R down, and I did a neutral air, and I air dash downwards, and yes, I, in air dashing downwards, I did put myself closer to the bottom blast zone, but that's okay, I'm so high up, because I've been hit by a strong smash attack or something, that all I need to do is do any air dash in any direction, and I, I just don't want to die off the side or off the top, so this is good enough, and you can do this even if you don't have a double jump, like, so again, I'm going to use my double jump, I got an air dash out. See that? That's to simulate basically a situation where I've been knocked off the stage. Again, I don't have a double jump anymore because my opponent kicked me out of it. And I'm in tumble. And if I needed to escape tumble, I can even probably simulate that by going in tumble myself. So double jump. I'm in tumble. But look at that. Got an air dash out because I did an aerial first. You see that? So I did, my inputs were, I did, I, I simply pressed A and then I immediately pressed, pressed R and then air dash down. And that saved, that would have saved me from uh, a lot of moves, even if I didn't have a double jump. This is, this is, I mean, it's, it's a complete game changer. It's a complete game changer. I mean, I think the offensive potential, if, if you need any, uh, examples of how, why this is good on offense, literally just go watch Void stream for like 10 minutes and you'll see exactly what I mean. There is a clip where he's sauced on Zane that maybe my editor can put in here. Editor, put in, put in the Zane clip. Just show, just show, just show the Zane clip, dude. No! Dude, that was brutal. Yeah, Void is was nasty at this day one. I think the rest of us are catching up a little bit, but offensively, I think the, 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 the applications are pretty obvious. You just can get moves out, and it's it's gonna feel familiar to melee players because it honestly feels a lot like L canceling. <laughs> just like doing your moves and just being able to reach the ground really crispy and able to follow up. But what I don't think a lot of people are thinking about are the defensive capabilities of, of, of this, which again, in my opinion, are the strong nair fastfall to use the smash, or sorry, strong attack RPS system, rock, paper, scissors system to come back down to land and also to use this to survive. All right, well, that's the video. Uh, I hope that helps. I'm gonna have more Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, like little tech tutorials and impressions and stuff like that on the game within within the coming days. Hopefully it helps you guys out a lot because this game is super duper fun. Pretty much speak for a lot of the Melee players when I say we're having a lot of fun with this game. And uh, till next time.